Surprise, motherfucker. Welcome to another episode of Scrapping with Antisocial Scrapper. Episode 11. There's an Indian guy over there giving me a shitty look. It's about to rain. And we just found a vacuum cleaner. So stay tuned, because we're just getting started. And hopefully, the guy behind me is not a terrorist. Although I believe in equal opportunities for everybody. I could get the backpack, or I could get the hoverboard that's got its own box on the ground, which I just found in the dumpster. Even the parts alone could net me as much as 60 or $75, depending on my research. So, but if I don't find anything else tonight, at least it was worth coming out for just for this. Stay tuned. Now, if a guy was a betting man, he could go ahead and rip the heads off this small one-horsepower motor here and redo it and have a decent push mower. But at this moment, it is currently beyond locked up. There is nothing I can do that will change the outcome of this motor's fate. It is destined to the junkyard. If Scrap was higher, I could turn his clean motor cast up. I won't take it home, but, oh uh, well, lesson to learn. Flat screen monitor. You can buy one at Goodwill for $9.99, or you can find one in the trash for free. Nonetheless, it's funny. Vacuum cleaner number one. Vacuum cleaner number two. And maybe a box for vacuum cleaner number three. Twenty-five dollars. And a single dumpster. Oh, I feel so fortunate. All you gotta do is walk up to the dumpster and have 12 spots to put 12 different pairs of shoes and cook a cheeseburger. Not that much money, but it's still money. If it works for King Arthur, then odds are it will probably work for me. Let's see. Covenant partner. Definitely may need to research it. But either way, it's a sword in a dumpster, and it's all mine. That's it. From now on, I'm not even going to try to dumpster dive anymore. I'm just going to start putting ads on Craigslist, asking for vacuums. I give up, I quit. It's vacuums all night long. That's it. The title of this is just going to be called I Find Vacuums, and You Watch Me Do It. The end. Okay, a quick pit stop for something to drink. We've got the hoverboard. Found a case of Insure that doesn't expire till 2017. Inspire, hit, expire till 2017. More vacuum cleaners. The shoe rack. There's a walk in there, by the way. I'm going to keep it for Chinese food. More vacuum cleaners. And then basic toiletries and sundries and items that I'm just too lazy to buy that I probably won't even count. And a computer monitor. So, you've probably seen me pick up most of this, but there's a few items you haven't. Now you know. That moment when you get evicted, and even the neighbors don't want your shit. When your cat throws up on your computer monitor, it tends to put a stop to your World of Warcraft. There will be no level 80 today. Well, YouTube, I'm at a crossroads, and you're almost at the end of the video. We found the hoverboard, we found the sword, and we found a whole lot of vacuums. So, it wasn't the best night we've ever had, but it wasn't the worst night we've ever had. Might have came close to making a couple hundred bucks. I was hoping for more because the students have uh, just taken their finals over at IU. And I was hoping we'd do a little bit better and there'd be a lot more uh, going on with the move outs and uh, turnovers for leases and apartments. But there's more still to come. So, uh, you know, stay tuned for the final total. Good morning, YouTube. As you can see, by the looks of the grass and everything else, it rained all night, thunderstorm. Indiana weather. But anyway, time for the final total. Now, the insure that we found, the case of the actual uh, vanilla diet drink, is inside my house. So I'm not going to go ahead and get that and put it in the yard 
where everything's soaking wet just for the purpose of a YouTube video. But it does exist, and it's an easy 20 bucks. Also, the sword, I was uh, definitely not going to put out here while it's all humid and rainy because it's a fairly nice sword. It's probably worth a good 35, 40 bucks just as a broadsword alone. It's in pretty decent shape. So, with that being said, I'm probably already up 60 bucks before I even start. Anyway, computer monitor, five bucks. Little uh, bath rack uh, holder for the shower. Yeah, maybe five bucks, but I'm gonna keep it probably. So I'm not even worried about it. The walk, I can get seven bucks for a walk all day long, thanks to the fact that a lot of Asians are uh, around, pretty populous. The George Foreman grill. Man, I remember when these things used to be all the rage and everybody wanted one, and now I can barely get five bucks out of it. But five bucks is five bucks. I have the metal 12 pairs of shoes compartment rack. Beautiful. I can get 15 bucks out of that all day, every day. And my score of a lifetime, A, working, well, half-assed working. It needs, it needs gone through, and it definitely needs adjusted. Hoverboard. I was messing around with this thing last night, and I almost ended up on my ass. Now I totally know how Mike Tyson feels, and I'm so glad I didn't film it. But... These go just for the frame and the battery alone, $55 in parts. This one is pretty much 95% complete, just missing a few screws here and there. And uh, a couple of the actual uh, circuit boards in there were uh, backwards and plugged in incor incorrectly, like someone tried to mess with it or upgrade it and didn't do well. But altogether, it's like 95% complete and has all the major parts there that make it uh, actually uh, function and uh, self-detect upright and... Uh, left and right and things like that. So it's an easy hundred bucks. Then vacuum palooza. This is where I wanted to give up last night because all I kept finding was vacuums. Okay, simple, eight dollars. Maybe seven dollars. That's brand new in the box. They just go for fifteen ninety nine in CVS. I can probably get seven bucks out of them. Another eight dollars. Another eight dollars. And a heater out of season. It's not gonna do you much good, but it does work. So I don't know, five bucks to a senior citizen with poor circulation, maybe seven dollars. But all together, I think we came close to about two hundred bucks. It's not bad for a night. A lot of people work a forty hour work week and bust their ass for a hell of a lot less. And there's honor in that as well. So, until next time, you two. Thank <laughs> you.